Me avisa se começar aí. Já tá? Hello everybody, I'm just finishing setting up everything here. Descartar. Let me see here. Window capture. Yes, paint. Hmm. Let me open YouTube so I can see the chat. All right. Ok. Ei, hey, Pedro, tá conseguindo assistir hoje então? Vamos ver aqui. Hello, everyone. Hello Hugo, started origami seven years ago and thanks to you I fell, I fell in love with it. <laughs> yeah, I want, to, I want to improve this even more, you know, I'm even creating new origamis. Let me just show everyone before we start. I just finished folding this origami here. Small dragon fell. Okay, perfect. Yeah. It's a little bit too dark here. Let me check. Let me fix the lights. Okay. Okay, it looks a little bit better. Still too dark. Oh, hello. Thank you, Sidra. Sid Sidar. <laughs> it's really so hard to say the It's an Indian name, right? But thank you for becoming a member. And it's a little bit too dark, but Oh, this camera might be better. Ah, well, okay. It's the Darkness, Darkness Dragon 3.2. Well, uh, it's not easier. It, it depends, actually, because the head is a little bit harder to make, but the body part is easier. Because uh, in the Darkness Dragon 2, the body part was... A little, a little bit confusing, you know, we had a lot of folds that we had to do at the same time, but now you don't have that, <coughs> you can do, uh, it's way easier, I will show a, a little bit of the crease pattern today, so you can see what I'm talking about. And today we are going to fold the frost dragon, <coughs> I tried to fold once, I didn't finish folding it, but I guess I can make this structure. I may have some trouble to make the details and the shaping. Okay, uh, I love the legs of that dragon. Yeah, this time the legs has as the front and the back claw, so you can shape it better. You know, make this small curve so it looks way bigger than before take off the, this dragon 
and it has small fangs well um, about the tutorial for this origami it's going to take um, I mean, a long time because I still have to find um, step step by step the way to fold it step step by step because right now I just fold everything at the same time so it's not a good way to teach and I still don't know exactly how to teach how to make the face and the neck there are some details here on the neck that I still have to improve a little bit before teaching but that's it it's going to take a while I mean some something close to uh, at least two months to make the tutorial but let me see I have to, to check if I have anything else another origami to make first okay and I hope you guys could fold the pocket dragon this one I made this curve just to put here on the other dragon's mouth <laughs> But I hope you, you guys could fold it. The tutorial was... <coughs> I tried to make it very slowly, all the tutorial very slowly so everyone can fold it even with printer paper. <coughs> yeah, let me see here. Uh, do you have any tips to shape in your Charizard? The Charizard, yes, it's... Um, that one is very hard to shape so what i think that you could do is <coughs> a little bit of wet folding so you you make the origami you try to hold the shape uh, let me show you here for example you take you take pieces of paper like this you roll on whatever part you want to hold the shape better right and then you apply a little bit of water close to, to where you you want to, the paper to hold the shape and this will make the, the the paper fibers expand a little bit and after it gets dry it holds the shape so this might be a way to to improve the origami and it's even better if you apply CMC on the paper because the CMC will, will help the paper, um, the fibers stuck together. And let me see here. Como que os criadores escolhem números estranhos de continuações? Ah, de Udin 1.2, 2.1, 3.5. Bom, esse caso foi o quê? Eu criei uma versão nova desse origami, então eu chamei de 3. É, depois eu comecei a modificar ele um pouco, mas como eu já tinha lançado o 3, eu fiz o 3.1, depois o 3.2, e agora quando eu terminei de fazer as modificações no corpo, 3.3. Se eu fizer uma mudança grande, eu vou mudar a versão e chamar de versão 4, por exemplo. E... And... Uh, please do a Divine Dragon tutorial. Well, about the Divine Dragon, uh, it's from Kamiya Satoshi. So I, I am actually not making tutorials for Kamiya Satoshi's origami because he never gives uh, authorization. It's, uh, I mean, um, he, he doesn't let anyone make tutorial videos, so I can't. <laughs> I, I mean, I said in a previous video that I already did teach once the, uh, the Phoenix because the tutorial, the freeze pattern was online and it was for free. So it was actually just a way to show how to fold the crease pattern. But 
I think that I don't know if he says, for example, that he doesn't want his origami to be on video, then I will have to remove the video. <clears throat> I mean, although the the crease pattern is online and it's for free, and I could just say that I'm just trying to interpret the crease pattern and show everyone how I did it it still has this problem that the moment he says he doesn't want a tutorial online I had to I have to remove the video no the red dragon is not part of the origami <laughs> the red dragon is the pocket pocket dragon I released the tutorial the tutorial yesterday right I just made a small curve here to make it looks like it got stuck yeah that's it <laughs> but the dragon is, is just like this I have to improve the light here just a little bit more but today I will show you um, a little bit of how I fold the crease pattern for this origami Okay, I don't know if you can see it. It has the stiff fangs now. And the wings are actually smaller than before in proportion with the the body the 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 body the the neck and everything but by doing this I could work more on the details of the head and the legs yes it's a darkness dragon 3.2 yeah 3.2 <coughs> Yes, I watched it. The Robert Lang's Wired Wired video, I watched it. Robert Lang is just another level of origami artist, you know. <laughs> he he ke he he's just part of so many projects, so many things, and he made you know the software, the tree maker, and a lot of things that it's just another level. Let me see here. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the paper I used to make this origami is called Wenzhou. It's uh, Chinese rice paper. And I painted it with... Um, I, I don't know what's, what it's called. But it's a dye. Use it to use it in, in paints, you know, to, to paint walls. So it's a very simple I use it and oh thank you the let me see here if I miss it any message here okay how do you find the paper distribution on the crease pattern of any origami just measuring with the ruler uh, the paper distribution is actually I have to find references um, first of all, I printed the, the paper, you know. If the reference is not, if, if the reference is not in the crease pattern, I just print the, the crease pattern and try to find the reference. For, exa for example, if I fold here, I can find that this line here is exactly in the middle right and then here I had a little bit of trouble to find this reference but let me show you if I f if I fold here in half again and then in half one more time 
you will see that the line gets exactly here over this line. So if you, if you fold this part in half one more time, you have this reference. So uh, it's not really, there's no easy way to find the references. You just have to fold and try to figure out. Figure out. <coughs> Usually when I make my crease patterns, I like to make uh, small lines so you can find the reference easier. And let me see here. Esse papel você comprou, comprou do Word Paper e pintou ou fez tudo do zero? Esse papel eu comprei da papelaria universitária chama, que chama Wayne's Old Paper. É, Wayne's Old, ele vem num rolo. Deixa eu pegar o rolo lá pra mostrar pra vocês. Derrubando tudo aqui. Ok. Então, so this is the windsaw paper. I use it to make the crease, the darkness dragon. Let me just fix everything here again. Okay, so this is the windsaw paper. It comes in a big roll like this. And I just apply some CMC glue. And CMC is actually not hard to find. You can find it in hardware store. It's the same glue you use it to, uh, to glue wallpapers. So it shouldn't be, shouldn't be hard to find. Okay. So today I'm going to fold the Frost Dragon. I tried once uh, just to find the base but I still didn't find the details. Anyway, the link, let me post the link for the crease pattern before we start. Frost Dragon Origami. The link is at Kadechan's website. Okay, here. Pink message. Okay, so the link is on the chat for for the crease pattern. Now let's fold it. Okay. Nice glasses, <laughs> thank you. Ok, let me see here. Vou tentar fazer um origami Green, green, Reap, green Reaper do Miyamoto Shuya. É, eu já vi esse origami. É animal. Nunca tentei fazer. Ok, so let's start. I will start making this middle lines and then I will make all those parallel folds here and here, right? So I will start from this point and later I'm going to make this base here. It's the bird base, the tsuru base. Here it's another tsuru base but only, may only half of it. And later I will see how to fold this part. But let's start from this part. Okay, first of all, the origami will be folded. Just so you can see, the origami is here, right? Um, let me see. It's probably going to be folded in this direction. Okay. 
So it's going to fold the one in half here. And here, and by doing this, I have both middle lines. So let me just check here. Just folded this and this line. See if I can. S I can't resize. Okay. Well, okay. I won't resize it. All right. Now it's fixed. And I need a second, a, a second screen, so I can manage all those things. Cause there's just so many things at the same time on the screen when I make a live video. <clears throat> but anyway, now let's make the the other reference line. Okay. Now, if I fold the remaining part in half, I'll have this point, but you don't have you don't have a fold along this line. So I'm just going to pinch both both corners just just to make the reference. And then the next part, I can make the whole line. And then here I have to fold in four parts, right? So I am, let me mark here, it's better. So I just made, just made this line here. This line here is the middle. Now I'm going to divide here in four parts. So let's fold four more times here. So this is actually a way to for you to to try to learn how to understand crease patterns. Instead of a full tutorial, if you try to practice folding from the crease patterns you have way more origami you can fold. The problem with crease patterns is that you have to fold all the references before, right? And now I'm going to fold this line here. And it's the middle point. So I just have to make This fold go up to the the points I made before. And then fold in half. Okay. And I will do the same thing here to the other side. So again, I'm just going to pinch the sides. It's been so long I, I, from, uh, I don't talk with Kadechan. 
over six years. Let me see here. <coughs> Where have you been all this time? I've been working. <laughs> I've been working a lot actually in an engineering company and <coughs> I just quit my job about two months ago and I and I'm back to make vi organ videos. E aí, Henrique, beleza? Obrigado pela força aí. So like this, we just finished making the folds from from the sides, this, this parallel folds, this parallel folds here, right? Now I have to see the direction and by looking at the origami most probably the folds will be in the direction of the color colored part so should be like this Okay, so this is obviously going to be the tail. É, eu saí do meu trabalho. Eu saí do meu trabalho porque na verdade eu estava tendo uns probleminhas aí de crise de ansiedade, estava trabalhando demais. E aí no meio do monte de trabalho eu tive aconteceu um, um, um engano, fiz um tive um probleminha assim e acabei errando o um projeto, um pedaço de um projeto. E como eu já estava cansado de trabalhar demais, muitas horas por semana, acabei tendo um pouco de crise de ansiedade e decidi sair. Okay, uh, sir, please tell me which paper you use and where you get it from for the complex origami like Darkness Dragon. So, I showed before, it's this paper here. It's called Wenzhou paper. Uh, it's a Chinese rice paper. And the thing is, you don't need any special paper actually. This paper is good, but you can find several other papers. And the main point is that you have to learn how to prepare the paper. So you have... So you have to... Okay. You have to prepare with CMC glue. And maybe paint with some... the You know those dyes you use to color paint for walls or wood, you know. And it's actually quite simple. You just have to use a paper that holds the shape, uh, not hold the shape, but uh, the fibers are not too thin, not too small. So the, the paper is not going to tear easily. Okay, now let's continue. Now we are going to make this blue part, the, 
this oh it's not blue this blue part this here is a tsuru base okay and it's going to be here on this this square Uh, did you like it more than Taiyunryu? Well, it depends. It depends. Taiyunryu has a very nice texture, so it depends. If you if we are going to make a very complex origami, then Taiyunryu uh, might be better. But Wenzel paper is also very good, but it's very thin, so it's also um, well. It may be. Maybe it's good for insects, you know, with long and thin parts. Washi paper, washi paper is good. It's actually, it's, it's excellent, but you have to find the correct washi paper. And washi is actually, uh, there are several types of washi paper. Okay, now let's continue here. This is the, this part is going to be a tsuru base. So basically you just have to make a tsuru here, right? And the base is like this. Uh, you fold here, here. Open it. And you have to open the this other part too. And as, as you can see, you cannot make the Tsuru base without, without folding all the way here in the middle, but you have this line, you also have this line here and here, so you can just make this fold. Uh, can we buy washi paper is in India? I have no idea, but in India you have, I mean, India is very close to China, right? Maybe you can find Wenzhou paper, it's, it's easier to find Wenzhou paper there. So what I'm doing here is just making a tsuru base, right? There's no secret really, just making the base. Well, I think it might be correct. I'm not sure yet, but now I have to finish making this part of the base. Phoenix, but I couldn't find the right thin paper. It depends on where you live, actually. But For example, in Thailand, you have several types of of papers you can use, like the Ondu, Thai Ondu, and it's very cheap. In China, you have the Wenzhou paper. In Korea, you have a paper called Han Hanji. I think it's Hanji, the name. Here in Brazil, you have a banana tree paper. And also, uh, which one you have? Banana tree paper. I could find this Wenzel paper here also. So if if I found Wenzel paper here in Brazil, and it's a paper for, from China, I am quite sure you can find Wenzel paper, Wenzel paper, Wenzel paper anywhere in the world. And. To make the phoenix, you just need it, uh, a very thin paper. In Japan, it's, it's easier. You can find washi paper just 
uh, it's easy to find washi paper and several types of washi paper. When I went to Japan once, I bought like uh, a lot of papers to bring bring here to Brazil. <clears throat> Consigo sim, cara. Os temas. Consigo falar os temas para as próximas criações, sim. Um, one thing we I, I wanted to discuss here also is what should what what I what should I create next? What origami I should create next? And my ideas was to make either the Lich King from Lord of the Rings or Sauron uh, both with that big head, you know, the same I use it to make the, the Darth Vader or <coughs> um, what was that? What, what else was it? There was other ideas I can't remember right now um, Well, anyway, I, I need some new ideas New scorpion design? You mean a complex one? No, Lich King from War World of Warcraft, right? Uh, Witch King, is that Witch King? I, I don't know. It was one from Lord of the Rings. It's not. It's not. It's not from World of Warcraft. Sauron cabeçudo. <laughs> Okay, so I made here the Tsuru base, right? Now, as you can see, there's still this fold missing. And it's actually just a, a triangle here. So you're just going to open the middle part. Like this. Right now the origami is a little bit of a mess because I still didn't figure out a step by step way to fold it, right? Okay, and later I have to make a um, sink fold here so the remaining folds here 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 and here it's just it's just a sink fold so let's let's make the sink fold hitman the logo of hitman i see I will try to find it. I, I have no idea what, what is that. An intermediate intermediate snake. Okay, let, let me take note of all the ideas. I have so many ideas right now, but I want to find out which one. Which one I should make next. So let me see here. Uh, Sauron. Sauron. Uh, Witch King. I forgot how to write Witch King. Witch. Oh, Witch. Witch King and. Hitman I see a logo <coughs> uh, oh, Which king is the Nazgul? Yeah, which king is the one that rides the Nazgul? And let me see um, Scorpion But I, I already have a scorpion origami. Let me show you. Okay. 
I already have this this scorpion. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, what, what should be the idea? I mean, making a scorpion, but an easier scorpion? Is that it? And Hercules beetle. I think there are, there are a lot of Hercules beetle origamis, isn't it? Hercules beetle. Oh, thank you, Jack Jackson. Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> Then Hercules Beetle. Okay, Hercules Beetle. <clears throat> so later I will ask which one I should do next because I have five ideas here already. Okay, so let's continue here. So I have to make a sink fold here and here, so I finish make, finish making that portion, so I can finish making this portion here of the paper. There are several layers in the way, so it may be a little bit hard to make it. But yeah. Oh, thank you, Satoru Sudoku. <laughs> thank you for becoming a member. It's helping me a lot, because especially in this beginning here, I've I got so many members already, and so many, so much donations. And thanks to this, I can actually make this YouTube channel get back on track. <laughs> because YouTube was paying me so so little <laughs> lately i i wouldn't be able to to quit my job i mean 2 months ago youtube was paying me something close to uh, 100 150 bucks a month oh it was really not nearly enough to to pay my bills <laughs> or to do anything and I really want to keep making origami videos you know I mean I know how to make origami so I would like to continue doing this okay so with this I finished making the the wings right and now here we have another Tsuru base. Let me use green now. Here we have another Tsuru base, but only half, only half of it. The other half, this half here, is not a Tsuru base. So I'm going to make only half of the base. Okay, to do the base, it, it should be here, right? Uh, will this video be available as a VOD afterwards? Yes, it's going to be available. It's going to be available, but I didn't teach the, this origami step by step, so it's actually better if you try to solve the crease pattern and use this video as a reference so you can understand what's missing. So, when you fold only half of the Tsuru base, it's like this. and then you unfold and you have to spread the layers you know one layer is going to be folded to this direction and the other to this direction I think you could up update your scorpion 
Thanks. Thanks and bigger claws. Well, yeah. This origami I created when I was folding for like two years. So I am quite sure I can improve this origami. I'll try to improve it. And then, okay, you just open the layers. So you would have this. This is just half of the Tsuru base. Okay, so we finish it. Fi mo we finish it folding this green part. Now let's see. The remaining part is is the part that you have to be more careful, because well, you have this line and this line. It means that you will open the model, open the middle, and also. You have these lines, which means you're going to open this flap in the middle. A imagem da câmera tá com delay? É possível. <laughs> É possível que sim. Eu, na verdade, eu estou usando aquele OBS Studio e um monte de coisa assim, então acaba tendo que arrumar um monte de configuração. Como eu não sou profissional nessa área, não trabalho com isso, eu acabo tendo algumas dificuldades técnicas aí, mas... É que a qualidade caiu. A qualidade caiu? Ué? Ah, não, mas aqui, aqui tá bom. Aqui tá com 1080. Estranho. O áudio tá saindo atrasado. Hum. Aí é problema. <risos> ok. Let me see here. É. Quanto ao atraso de áudio, eu não vou conseguir arrumar agora, não assim rápido. Engraçado que das outras vezes eu fiz igualzinho e não deu atraso de áudio, né? Talvez eu tenha que fazer, deixar um pouco mais de atraso no, no vídeo. Eu deixei o vídeo com um atraso, com um atraso de poucos segundos, se eu fizer com mais atraso, talvez é, dê menos problema no streaming. Bom, ok, let me see the comments here. Ok, Henrique Nogueira. Hey Tadashi, thanks. Nice to meet you again. Last time I just did congratulations for a job. Você pode falar em português também, se você for brasileiro, com com sobrenome Nogueira. Eu acredito que seja brasileiro, né? Now, could you give some way to find different kinds of paper to fold? É, você é brasileiro. I'm living in Hortolândia, near Campinas. I have heard something about Liberdade, São Paulo. Então, Henrique. Então, Henrique. É, tem bastante... Eu comprei o papel Wenzo, esse papel aqui, na papelaria universitária. É, deixa, o nome chama Wenzo, se escreve assim. Wenzo, Wenzo, Wenzo. Esse papel, com esse papel deu certo para fazer o, o Darkness Dragon, esse aqui, né? Então acredito que sirva para bastante coisa. <coughs> ok. Now let's continue here. What is missing here now is the front part. I just opened. So I just made these green lines. Now let me take another color again. 
red again. So um, first of all, let me see here. I have another Tsuru base or something similar to a Tsuru base here in a square. So let's first we are going to make this square. So first I'm going to make this square, right? Square should be at this point here. Okay, so I'm going to make another Tsuru base here. It's getting very small. Mm, but the paper is not going to lie flat if I make a Tsuru base here. Mm. Well, anyway, let's fold and then we figure out how to do it. So. Let's fold. Let's do base again. But there's something here on the on the tip. You have another another fold just to make the ears right here and here. Como que tá a câmera? Dá para ver bem? Não tá aparecendo? Dá para ver? Ah, ok. Ah, tá. Ok, so I just made. Now let's make the ears. Um, oh, ok. Instead of making the, the whole Tsuru base, the tip here is going to be a little bit different. You have to fold to open this flap and fold it upwards like this. And do the same thing here on this side. <laughs> I can't fold it. Okay. Espera aí que eu não estou conseguindo ver as mensagens aqui. tamanho do papel para o Darkness Dragon 3, eu usei no meu papel de 80 centímetros. Make a Pikachu in standing position. Oh, isn't there any Pikachu in standing position? I didn't know. I will try to make it. Let me write here. Standing position. Okay. So what's missing now are these folds here. So it's it's way it's easy now. Just three folds missing. The problem is that at this point the model does not lie flat because this middle part doesn't lie flat. I, I don't know. Maybe it just folds in half like this later. So probably no. So probably it's going to be something like this. But anyway. Um Let me see here. Do I have to fold it in half? 
the model does not lie flat but there's a fold missing here yeah okay so probably the whole model is going to be folded forward like this right because here you have the wings and the legs and the tail I just need to find out how he does this let me see the picture again okay so you have the ears I, I'm not sure if there's something missing here or if you just fold everything in half probably fold everything in half but anyway the missing fold this missing fold here comes from this point and it ends at this point right So, well, let's just fold it, just to see the result anyway. So you fold here, and then instead of going to this direction, you go to... You go to this direction here. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just made this fold and this fold. Now you have one more fold here. But let me see, how do you make this remaining fold? Unless... Yeah, I... I can understand that the fold is going to be like this. I can see the fold is going to be like this. But still, there is something missing here. Well, again, let's just make the folds first. All the folds, so we can get the reference. My cat is trying to jump here on the table, so it's making me lose a little bit of my concentration. Okay, I have all the folds. Literally all the folds from the crease pattern is here. I just don't know... O que, que é isso aqui? Você não sai. Deixa eu ver. Caraca, o modelo fica mais ou menos do tamanho do Darkness Dragon 2 com 45. Não, ele fica. É, ele fica mais ou menos do mesmo tamanho, na verdade, do Darkness Dragon 2. Só que o que acontece? Como ele tem muito detalhe no rosto. É difícil de você dobrar esses detalhes se você usar um papel muito pequeno. Ok, vamos ver. Aquele dragão Pocket, se dava para deixar mais complexo, dava para deixar muito mais complexo. Ok, and the cat, what's their name? Ok, let, let me show her. It's called Amelie. And she... And she's trying to jump on the table all the time <laughs> okay uh, could you tell me the link where you can buy that kind of good paper I don't know exactly where to buy because I bought in a paper store near my house called Papelaria Universitaria so um, I don't know exactly where to buy online. Now let's finish the model. 
Okay, I can see that if I fold, if I open the model a little bit, I can finish making these folds. But the model... It, ah, okay, okay, I get it. Here, this part is probably folded to inside. It's fold, now it's folded outside, right? I'm going to reverse this so I can fold to inside. And then you have all the folds. Okay, now I have all the folds. Um, now that I have all the folds, I have to find a way to make the details. And if you look here, oh, the, if you look at the picture, so let me see. Okay, the hands, the front legs goes forward and there's a color change here. This part is the back part of the paper, so so this and it looks like this is it. And then you make a small fold here and here to make the hands, the front legs. Right? So let me just make the zigzag here to make the claws. Later I will try to fold, it, fold this again with a better paper, but yeah, this looks like this is the idea. Just have to fold claws downwards a little bit. Okay. And then make Okay, so the wings are going to look like this. Chovendo aqui? Não, não tá não, cara. Tá um solzão aqui. Uh, tracing paper. I don't know what kind of paper is that. Oh, tracing paper. Well, you just need any strong paper with long fibers. So it's it's kind of hard to <coughs> to find the exact paper because everyone in the world the paper is different, you know. That's why I can't find just one link for everyone. But if you want a paper that's definitely good for origami, you can find at origamishop.com. And <coughs> there you can find the, the best papers. But the problem is that it's I find it quite expensive, you know. It is a, it is a, uh, I mean, it's the perfect paper, but uh, when you, when you buy it here in Brazil, it gets so, so expensive that 
you know, you, you just can't use this kind of paper. <coughs> you have to find some other alternative. Unless you're re really rich. <laughs> but anyway, now let's make the head. The head, the head is probably just, you just have to reverse this fold. Right? Let me see again. The head. Yeah, that's it. You, you can see the shape already, right? So here is going to be the, the horns. Here also it's going to be the horns. And then, oh, the ears are st stuck here. Okay, and you have the ears. And, well, that's basically it. The, other, the remaining parts is like the fury dragon, so you just have to open I mean to fold this part upward a little bit and then open the mouth a little bit right the paper is getting way too small for me to, to shape it but the idea is this now narrow the bottom part a little bit I know it's not looking good, <laughs> okay, because I'm using a paper that's way too small and I have to fold it carefully. As I'm making a video, I'm just folding it just to show the steps because otherwise it's going to take too long. But I think I got a good idea of how the organ is going to look like. Okay, now what's missing? The legs and the tail. The tail is actually ready. You just have to narrow the tip. So to do it, I'm just going to open the layer, the middle layer a little bit and close it. And that's it, right? This is the tail. Let me open the chat again. Vamos ver aqui. Uh, você já participou de uma exposição de origami do Brasil? Eu já fiz algumas exposições no Sesc, mas já faz bastante tempo. Ok, now the leg is, is quite easy. You just have to... You have all these parallel folds here, right? You just, you just have to... Pull here, the middle, this paper, I am I'm so afraid that this paper might tear, because this paper is actually quite fragile, but I have to pull the paper, okay, so just have to pull all these layers from inside, right? And then you make everything, you fold everything back, but opening the layers, see? So this is the general idea of how to fold the legs. You, you just have to narrow. I won't, I won't narrow right now because it's going to take too long. 
I have to make a sink fold on all the layers here and on the back side. So after you narrow everything, you will have you will have the claws here. It's always the same thing. You just have to narrow the layers and then you will have three claws. Here I, I don't have it because I didn't narrow it so it's thick. But I guess that's it. I mean, I, I want... Oh no, there's something missing. Uh, right. So you just have to fold the legs downwards. Okay. Yeah. And narrow the, the leg. <laughs> when making an origami live, it always gets so mess messed. But I hope you can understand the idea of the origami because I can't fold it slowly and making all the inside reverse fold because just to make this inside re reverse fold, I would uh, the sink folds. I would take like 15 minutes. I don't want to stay 15 minutes making the same fold slowly and on both sides. But the idea of the origami is that. Bom, vamos ver as mensagens. Uh, você pretende fazer vídeos mostrando suas criações? Ou pretende fazer vídeo de origami dos seus outros criadores? Vou fazer os dois. É, tanto minhas criações quanto dos outros também. Oh, bye bye, Samar. Uh, você trabalha só com origami hoje em dia? Hoje em dia, sim. Faz um mês, mais ou menos, que comecei a trabalhar só com origami. Uh, do you have origami Dragons Premium? Uh, what is that? Ah, it's a book. No, I don't have it. I will try to see this this book later. Okay, so this is the general idea of how to fold the the frost dragon. I know that the shaping is really bad, but the problem is that shaping takes takes very long, and I don't want to make all the shaping today here live because it's going to take too long. Right now, the next origami I would like to show is the Darkness Dragon, the 3.0. So let me open here the crease pattern, just so I can show some of the details. I won't show everything because there is there are a lot of details. Okay, let me see here. The crease pattern, the crease pattern. Oh, let me see here. I always leave so many, so many things, so many tabs open. It's hard to find everything, <laughs> but. I know that I uploaded... Okay, I found it. I don't know why OBS Studio doesn't let me show uh, some programs. So I have to open every crease pattern on Paintbrush. So the OBS Studio accepts Paintbrush. All right. Uh, let me open here. Capture de janela. No. Capture de Okay. Yeah, okay. Now it's working. 
I still find OBS Studio kind of kind of confusing. There are some parts that should be easier, in my opinion. Okay. Right. Let me read some of the comments. Uh, you inspired me to start my channel when I was 12. Do you have the channel yet? I still haven't posted anything because I got super busy in my life. Yeah, the same for me. <laughs> for the last four years, I couldn't post anything. Foi mais rápido fazer esse dragão do que aquele rato. Pior que foi. E era para ser um origami mais complexo. Vai entender, né? Mas acontece bastante isso. Às vezes eu tento pegar um origami que eu penso que vai ser fácil e acaba sendo bem difícil. Uh, how is it to work with origami? Only with origami? Do you like it? Well, I... Of course, I prefer to work only with origami. The problem is that it's really hard to, to earn enough to, to pay everything, you know, to pay my bills, to pay... Uh, to, to earn anything... I mean, uh, for example, I used it to earn uh, like three months ago, I was earning just a uh, hundred, hundred something bucks a month. So now that I am making more videos every day, I can earn something close to 300 to something, 200 something, 300. So, um, I still have some money from my previous work, so I can maintain myself for this moment, at least in the beginning. But I have to make a lot of things, you know. Probably I will probably make a book or something. Uh, let me see here. <coughs> the book came out, came out this year. Has Frost Dragon, Ancient Dragon, another? Really? Oh, so... There are tutorials for the Frost Dragon already. Ancient Dragon and other, I still didn't see this origami. Um, do you have a dog? Yes, I use it to have a dog. It's called Nala. Uh, she was called Nala, but she died like uh, two months ago. <coughs> now I have two cats. The difference about uh, the difference between Wenzo and Sean paper, I have no idea. I really, I really don't know. I just have the Wenzo paper. So, oh, you forgot to, why I was going to make a live stream today. <laughs> okay, now I uh, actually you got in in a perfect time because now I'm going to show some of the details of the crease pattern for the Darkness Dragon 3.0. Oh, the other cat's called Luna. She is not here right now. She hides a lot. Uh, Amelie likes to stay close to me all the time. It's really hard to make origami with her around. Let me see here. So, the crease pattern is here, right? As you can see, it's divided in five parts. The reference are those five lines. But uh, each of these lines here, each of these, these portions here are divided in th three parts. So it's a little bit hard to make this reference for reference points because you have to divide in five and then divide in three. But as you can see, the idea is quite simple. At least you have uh, divisions, you know, to make the folds. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, let me see. Will this live stream go up as video later? Yes. Yes, it will. Play? Que comentário? Qual? Ah, o tutorial do Darkness Dragon 3 vai lançar quando? Então, uh, para membros, essa semana eu vou fazer um vídeo mostrando é, como dobrar a CP. Mas o tutorial passo a passo, eu acho que vai demorar, olha, pelo menos três meses para eu conseguir fazer é, todo o vídeo, fazer toda a edição. E nesse meio período eu queria fazer outros origamis, né? Eu não sei nem se eu vou ter um, um, um tutorial tão cedo, porque eu preciso ver todos os passos, preciso ver é, é, como fazer passo a passo, né? Ele é um origami bem complexo. Mas para os membros, essa semana eu vou lançar já um vídeo mostrando como dobrar pelo CP. Então se você já sabe dobrar CP, vai, vai, eu acredito que não vai ser tão difícil de fazer não. Uh, will make a book? Where I could... Well, I, I am making a book, but it's still going to take a lot of time to finish it. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, uh, Nala was a really nice, really nice dog, but... You know, she was suffering for uh, about a year because she had uh, some sort of cancer. So it was kind of a relief, you know, when she died because it would, uh, yeah, you know, uh, not going to explain too much. Você usa algum tipo de cola para manter os origamis firmes? Eu uso, para preparar o papel, eu uso cola CMC que é para você conseguir é, dar mais liga na, nas fibras né, do papel. Na verdade, assim, todo papel, esse papel sulfite, ele tem CMC já. A diferença é que eu, quero colo eu coloco mais CMC para conseguir deixar o papel um pouco mais firme. Depois, na hora de moldar o papel, dependendo do origami, é, eu faço o seguinte, você enrola um pedaço de papel assim, por exemplo, aqui, né, em volta para segurar o formato do, do origami e aí você molha um pouco o papel, porque aí a fibra solta um pouco e depois que ele secar, a fibra vai, vai segurar, você tira a tensão do papel, né, é, por exemplo, quando você dobra o papel, ele tende a voltar, certo? Se você molha, a fibra solta e quando secar, a fibra vai segurar na posição, na posição final, é uma técnica boa. Funciona bem para origami complexo. Ah, que um dos meus gatos mordeu o escorpião é a Amelie. <risos> ok, so now let's, let's fold the Darkness Dragon. The crease pattern is here. Let me take... Um, here so if you if you try to fold from the crease pattern no, I'll leave the dragon here so you can see no too much space okay so first I'm going to fold in five parts right So I fold the diagonal, now I divide the paper in five parts. Um, so I don't know if you can, if you know how to divide the paper in five parts, but there's a technique where you just keep folding the paper like like I am folding right now and in the end you get to the division you want okay so in the final origami you don't have this strong line but I make the strong line just to make it easier to to see the references
So here I divide the paper in five parts, right? One, two, three, four, five. I will just fold the paper in half so I can have this middle reference. Okay. Uh, can you speak Japanese language? Yes, I can. I can, but um, I can under I can understand Japanese, but it's kind of hard for me to speak in Japanese because I don't practice that much. Uh, I use it to, you know, in the past I used it to speak more, so I could speak better in Japanese. But right now, it's very hard for me to remember the words. Okay, uh, does this darkness dragon have longer legs? Yes, it has. It has, as you can see here, the legs are way longer than before, and it has claws. So there, you have way more details now on the legs, and more details on the head. It's a little bit hard to see right now, but. Yes, it has. Magazine paper? No, it's not. The fibers are way too short, so it tears easily. Okay, so I'm dividing here the paper, right? In five parts. So I have to divide one more time here. Here. Okay, so I divided here in five parts. One, two, three, four. I won't make the last division because as you can see, you don't have a line here, right? So I won't make this last line. And let me see. Now I would make this, this reference fold and this reference fold. Those lines are also... I also use the same reference points. So, it's going to be here. Um, yeah, that's right, that's right. Here. In here. Okay, I won't fold the whole origami today because it is a complex origami. It takes me four hours to fold everything. <clears throat> What's your comment on double tissue? Double tissue foil. Funciona. Daria para fazer sim. Double tissue foil ou papel sanduíche. Eu prefiro double tissue. Eu prefiro double tissue porque é, ele fica menos marca no final. Certo. Agora, vamos lá. Na terceira divisão. Hey, thank you, Jack Jackson. Again? <laughs> thank you for the donation. And I make live streams every week, so... Thank you for watching. Till now. Okay, now let me see here. I just made this fold. When you see an origami with this structure, you know, uh, the structure is like this. The legs in the middle, wings on the side, the head here on the front. When you see an origami with this structure, it will always have the same step where you fold these parallel lines and then you fold an inside reverse on the sides. So almost every dragon that has this shape with the legs downwards will have the same structure. Okay? <coughs> this is basically going to be the base of the origami. 
and then as you can see I have to divide each division in three parts and this part is it's a little bit hard to do actually but I will I will just fold like this I won't I won't fold too perfectly because again it takes a lot of time to fold everything correctly Opa! Valeu Henrique! Valeu pela força aí! Tem me dado bastante força! <risos> Tem me dado bastante! Vai deixar preparado o papel? Então, essa semana eu já vou lançar esse, esse vídeo aí ensinando... Ensinando alguns detalhes. terminando ok e assim and like this we just folded all those lines all the divisions right and let me see the wing, the wing is going to be almost the same thing as always, you know, like the, the pocket dragon I also made the same thing, so you just have to make a sink fold here and then by making the sink fold By making the sink fold, you will make a fold here and here. But as you can see, the fold is not straight. Here on the crease pattern, the fold comes to this direction. The, the fold we just made ends here, right? Ends in this point. But then later, I will make this fold here and unfold this one and I will show how to do it so um, let me see here how I did make the reference okay so here I would have to fold the paper like this in this direction unfold and then the inner part if you see if you look at the inner part I just made this two lines this line is here are these two lines so we are going to make this fold like this right okay I, I missed one fold before. I have to fold this part here, otherwise I won't be able to make the next fold. This part is this part here. Okay, so I'm just going to open this part of the model and fold the layer downwards like this. See? Later I will I will make a video showing more details, showing a little bit better for for the channel members. But the full tutorial I will make it. Um, it will take about three months to make a full tutorial for this origami. But if you try to follow the crease pattern, you will be able to do it by watching this video. Right? Okay. So again. Now I'm going to open the model a little bit and make the fold that 
I said before, this, these two folds. And as you can see, the model just folds a, a little bit to, the wing just folds a little bit to this side. And it's okay, because later, because later I I'm going to open the model, right? Later I'm going to open the model and fold it downwards. See? This is going to be the wing. So I'm going to unfold this because I was just going to show the details. And the legs is actually also not, not really hard. I'm going to fold this side here just to show how to fold the legs. Right? So for the legs, for the legs, it's actually not really that hard to fold because if you open the model like this, right? You, if you fold it like this and make all the zigzag, you can see that you almost have the shape of the, the dragon already. So at this point you you are already getting close to the to the origami base. Hmm. Okay, I folded <laughs> the wrong direction. correct also this paper is not good to make this dragon uh, up to this point is okay but later when you have to make the details it's it's not going to work você mora aqui em São Paulo Henrique? bora sim bora beber sim Let me see here. Okay, for the legs, uh, <coughs> I just have to make a zigzag here, okay? So I can fold the legs forward. And this zigzag is going to be Okay, let me see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's correct. That's right. So this zigzag is going to be here. As you can see, in the, the middle part doesn't have the zigzag, but you can just fold the zigzag first, and then you're going to remove the zigzag. It's going to be easier like this. So, I will make it, I will make this zigzag only on the front part, okay, because the, the back part is the same thing. See, like this, we have the zigzag. I didn't fold, I didn't make this fold here. So this side you can see how it's going to be how it's going to look like. This side I miss it. Oh, let me make this fold already. 
It's easier. Okay. Now you can see the folds. Right? And then to make the the claws as you can see here on each division here, right? You have a division here. But to make the claws, I have to divide one more time here in half. Okay? So let, let me show you what I mean. Here, instead of making one, two tips, two, two claws, you are going to make three claws. Uh, is that it? Three claws here? Yes, you're going to make three claws at this point. So, and to do it, you're going to divide each of these zigzag in half one more time. So it's going to look like this. See? See, you have the zigzag. You're going to fold it in half one more time. See? And do it on the next one. The, the same thing on the next one. Right? And we do here on the other side also on two only on two divisions. So, let me do it again. I know it's it's really hard to to follow these instructions because it's not exactly an instruction. It's just showing some of the folds of the of the darkness dragon. But as I said later, I'm going to make this same video, but with a little bit more details for for channel members. And I'm I'm going to make a full tutorial in a few months. Okay, so you have this zigzag with several small zigzags here and two big zigzags on the end. And here, as you can see, you have one, two, three, four claws. Okay? Here, one, two, three, four. From this point on, I'm going to to make a fold just to make all this this middle portion go to inside okay so it's going to be something like this this fold here and this fold I'm doing right now are the these parallel folds so to do these parallel folds you just hold here the tip where the claws end and you pull the paper and then and then you make a horizontal zigzag at this point see and keep pulling the paper and as you do it the paper will get stuck in the middle see here you have both legs Okay, the other side is going to be the same thing, and then to make the claws it's quite easy. If you can follow up to this point, I guess you can make the claws already, because you just have to narrow the, the tips and then spread the, the claws, right? And the last part, and I think that's the most difficult part, is going to be the head. Okay, at this point, the origami looks like this, right? Here, if you make the wings the way I said, you pull the middle portion, portion a little bit. And then you have it, you have the wing. 
Now the head, I'm going to use another paper because this one it will get way too small to show the details. I fold it here. Okay, so I made some of the pre creases, but the paper, the front part will have all these parallel lines, right? I just made it bigger here, the parallel lines. So I can show the details. <coughs> so these lines here, you have one, two, three, four, four divisions. So it's here, one, two, one, two, three, four divisions. So, okay, it's from, it's this part of the paper. I'm showing, I'm going to show how to make this part here. Azele, altura Alvin. É mesmo? Santa Mara perto da Granja Julieta. Pô, seria bem legal mesmo. Conhecer, né? Ok, how much time it will take to finish this? Um, if you are going to make the whole origami with all the details, it's going to take about, <coughs> let's see, four hours to do everything. But now I'm going to show, I'm, I'm not going to show all the details, so I will show just the general idea. And the general idea here in the crease pattern is that I'm going to fold this zigzag here. Okay, so I'm going to fold this and this zigzag. And to do it, it's... So the paper will look like this. If you fold the zigzag. If you don't know how to do it, let me show you a little bit slower. You would have the paper like this, right? Then you fold, make an inside reverse. When you do this inside reverse, you have the zigzag, I just said, right? Now you just have to finish making these other two folds. It's a full tutorial. Well, if you can follow the crease pattern and by looking this video, you, for, for most people, it's not going to be a full tutorial, but I guess for people who can follow the crease patterns, this will be a full tutorial. <coughs> Do you design origami yourself? Yes, this one is my own my own design. I don't know if you saw it, but it's going to be this origami dragon. <coughs> okay, so I made the, I made the zigzag. Now I'm going to fold another if you shape it fold here on the top part that would be this fold and then okay here you just fold these two flaps downwards okay and the most difficult part is going to be this weird shape in the middle and let me see here. So first I'm going to fold these two flaps. And today just open the model, open the flap. Hey, thank you, Rolly. Thanks a lot, man. 
E aí, Pietro, voltou também? <risos> Thank you. Thanks a lot for the donation. It helps me a lot. It's really helping me in this beginning. Now let me see here. Um, so you have this fold, right? This should this is this part and this part. I just folded. Now the bottom part. The bottom, the bottom part, uh, I mean, I have to narrow this part. Okay, let me show here. I just narrowed this part here, right? I just have to do the same thing here. But here, you do it by spreading the layers. So, you fold like this, and then you spread the layers. Okay, and you have you have to spread everything like this, and then you close, you fold this small part upward, and close the model. And as you can see, I am narrowing this tip, but in the crease pattern you don't have this, because this is this is a fold just to. Uh, just to guide for the next folds. So this narrow point I'm making is here. I'm just making a fold here. So later I'm going to unfold all this middle portion. And I'm going to show you how to do it. And I think this might be the most complex part of this origami. Okay. So you would have something like this. Now, if you fold this tip up to this point here, this fold here, this fold is going to be this octagon here. And this is the hard part. You have to open this middle portion. See? The model will look like this. Right? As you can see, you have here this octagon. And then here is going to here is the middle part, right? On the next part, not on the middle part, you have these small folds here and here. So you're going to make this fold. You're going to skip the middle one, and then here you're going to press the sides and squash the model. Squash the model. A little bit. See? Then you skip the next one and you do the same thing here to the next one. Again, skip one and do the same thing here. And skip one and do the same thing here. And when you do this, and you finish closing the model. You have this. This octagon. Okay. Now, I am not going to show all the details right now. But it's basically this. You have to fold this flap to inside. Fold to the middle, 
right? You also have to narrow all these flaps, you have to narrow a little bit. So you just have to make a sink fold on, or just make a fold like this. And you have to narrow the horns too. Okay, so these are going to be the horns. I'm not going to shape right now, but it's quite obvious how to shape it. And the eyes, just like this. Fold here, here. Right? And like any other dragon, you just have to fold the tip to inside and fold a little bit to outside and you have the eye right and here is going to be the fangs no, uh, yeah the fangs and to do it you just have to make a small v-shaped fold here see See, so you have a small fang here, and the same thing here. And you just have to do the same thing on the bottom part to make the bottom part of the of the mouth. So shaping take, takes a lot of time so I'm not going to do it right now but I guess if you can follow up to this point I think that shaping is not going to be a problem now. Uh, you also have to make some inside reverse folds here, uh, some sink folds here just so you can narrow the head a little bit more. Okay. But by following this, you just folded this whole crease pattern. Whew. Okay. Uh, have you folded the Alduin by... Okay, L let me just show the origami first. So, this is the head. Okay. And if you just make the body and at the end here, you make the head, you have the whole model. Uh, and as I said, you see, all these details, all these small fangs, everything, you must fold in a paper, in, in, only on this portion of the paper. That's why I said you need a very big paper. And for this one, I use it on 80, 80 centimeters paper that would be uh, let me see one two three four five forty forty inches forty inches paper is that right <coughs> no eighty centimeters one two three four times eight no twenty four inches yes twenty four inches paper and it's going to look like this Let me see if it's if it's better to see in the front camera. This one is so dark, the paper is black, so it gets hard to see. Okay. Ah, yes, I guess it's better. Here. So I will cut this video later so you can watch it, but I need to make a, a slower version of this video showing more of the details. But the general idea is here, by following this you can make this origami.
right? Oh, yeah, about the claws, I had four tips, right? You just fold one backward and three forward, and you have this. Pronto. Ah, o que, o que eu tô fazendo agora? Ok, let me read the comments. Um, Alduin by Kamiya Satoshi. No, I've never folded it. <coughs> How do you design such complex origams all by yourself? Uh, well, designing is a process. Uh, is it, The crease pattern is here still, right? So let me explain using the crease pattern. First of all, I designed it. The first thing I designed was the general idea. So, the proportions. Okay. Oh, let's close. So, the base of the origami is this, right? You have the, the wing, the legs, and some paper to make the head. <coughs> so, first of all, I need to distribute the paper. So I made this base. I just decided where I would place each part of the origami. It's the same base um, of several other origamis. So I just fold, made these this circles to divide the paper. Right? And also I dedicated this part of the paper for the wings. <clears throat> so this is the base and now the details of the wing I actually folded just the wing I, I just took a small part a small paper like this one okay I just took a small paper paper like this one and then I started I started to sketch how I would like the wing to look like but I I always have to, to have in mind that I must uh, okay it's back uh, I just have to have in mind that I must use the same base so I must start with this so I must start with something like this right and from this point I have to make a wing and to do it I just <clears throat> I have to sketch I have to fold several times several ways to find a way to make a, a better structure for the wings now the head the head was the hardest part because the head is the idea is the same. I have to make circles to decide which part I'm going to use for what, but in a way smaller scale. So I have to work on each detail of what I want, where I want. <clears throat> and this is the idea, the general idea. Now let me read something else. Na minha opinião, Charizard é seu melhor origami. Cara, é um origami bem difícil. Acho que é o que mais demorou para eu criar foi o Charizard até hoje. Well, you can try. It's you can try this model. I mean, if you follow, if you know how to follow Chris pattern, and by watching this video, it's almost you. You have almost everything. I it's I didn't teach step by step, but yeah, I think it's possible. Eu quero fazer o dragão do gelo. Eu não sei que dragão é esse. Eu nunca vi. Ah, não. O dragão do gelo está querendo dizer o, o Frost Dragon do... Do... Cadê Chan? O Evangelho é um cabeçudo? É possível também. <risos> Evangelho é um cabeçudo ia ser legal. Só que... Eu acho que o Eva do Evangelho ele não é tão não é tão característico. Ele depende muito da cor, sabe? O origami que depende muito da cor ele fica difícil de fazer cabeçudo porque ele precisa ter uma característica muito forte nele. 
Okay, uh, any new ideas for another large scale design like Charizard or Darkness Dragon? Large scale design. Um, I don't have any idea right now, but, but let me see. Because, you know, the next ideas, I wanted to fold a uh, Sauron or a Witch King. So, uh, these origamis I wanted to make. Yeah, I wanted to make, um, how to say it, uh, big head, big head version, like the uh, the Darth Vader. So it's not going to be a large scale design. But someone mentioned mentioned the a scorpion to make an upgrade to this scorpion or a. Her Hercules Beetle, the Hitman ICA logo, I have no idea what, what logo is this, or a Pikachu in standing position. So I still don't have any large scale design ideas. If you have anything, I can, I can take note here so I can think about something. Uh, Alguma chance de alguma dessas lives vocês desenvolver o CP do Lord Shen, do Kung Fu Panda? De quem que é esse origami? Eu vou dar uma procurada. É que eu não assisti Kung Fu Panda, apesar de eu saber alguns personagens. Eu não sei quem que é o Lord Shen. Vamos ver. No Discord tem um bot pegar Pokémon. Aí, você aparece... Aí uma vez apareceu um Charizard e fui pegar ele, mas uma amiga pegou ele primeiro. <risos> Sabia não. Na verdade, eu nem sei mexer direito no, no Discord. Ok, I folded the crease pattern for the, for the Darkness Dragon and I didn't even show where to find the crease pattern, right? The crease pattern you can find on my Instagram, but it's still. It's still not a. Uh, uh, let me see here. Crease pattern is better if you follow the. If you have a PDF instead of an image. But for now, I have only this here. Ok, Lord Shen é um pavão? Eu vou dar uma procurada nisso aí. Deixa eu anotar também. Lord Shen. A câmera desligou? Não, é, já faz tempo, né? Lá. Ok. Uh, Lord Tem um vídeo no YouTube do cara fazendo time lapse. Tá, eu vou dar uma procurada mesmo. <risos> Só tem amigos no Discord. É mesmo? Dragonfly. Uh, who's organist? Is that the dragonfly? I mean, probably there are a lot of dragonflies. É isso aí. Bom, gente. Acho que por hoje eu vou terminar a live por aqui. Consegui terminar de fazer os dois CPs que eu, tava, que eu pretendia fazer. E a bateria da minha câmera logo, logo vai acabar. Ela dura duas horas e meia. <risos> Tessellation, Tessellation live stream. I am actually not, not experienced in tessellations. I mean, not at all. So, 
Um, who is good with the solutions? I think uh, Ekaterina, Katerina Lukasheva, Katya. She's she's good at making tessellations, right? I will have to get some tips from her. Yeah, so well, so I'm going to finish this live today cuz the battery of my camera is going to finish and I could finish both crease patterns. So, thanks everyone for watching this live video. It was really nice today because I could make, I could finish both origamis. I could finish the, the origamis and I hope you guys can make the crease pattern, make the darkness dragon from, from the crease pattern. And that's it. Sara. Okay, Sara Adams, right? Yeah, I've, I, I just don't have any experience with the solutions. That's why I cannot promise of making making tessellations. I have to study a little bit. But Katerina is, is really good at making tessellations. And I have her contact. I used it to talk with her in the past. <coughs> well, next next live is going to be on Saturday. Next Saturday. And I think that this this same time is is best the best. Because last week I I made it earlier, but earlier is it's kind of bad for people in the U.S. Because for example in L.A. it was 6 a.m. So it's going to be I don't know uh, is it 13 1 p.m. 1 p.m. EST. So, it's going to be this the same time I started today. E qual CP mais difícil que eu já dobrei? Cara, eu não lembro não. Eu não lembro não. CP mais difícil? Hum. Cara, eu não sei, mas eu acho que foi algum do Kadechan, provavelmente. E é isso aí. Valeu aí, galera. Vou terminar a live por aqui. Muito obrigado pra, a todo mundo aí. Muito obrigado por ter assistido. So, thanks everyone for having watched this live video. And see you next week.